When nursing mothers return to work from maternity leave, they need an area that is not a bathroom to express milk during their work period. A small area may be sufficient as long as it is private and free from intrusion from co-workers and the public. Businesses in all industry sectors have found creative solutions for space including permanent dedicated lactation rooms, flexible spaces shared for other purposes, and outdoor and mobile options. The people around you have to know what you're going through when you're breastfeeding. You know, they need to know um, you, you need time, you need private space. It's actually very difficult to balance working and pumping. So with a convenient facility that's clean and fast, we can get in and out and get back to work and not be stressed about trying to do all the things that we'd like to do. The Lactation Center at the Library of Congress is a very nice facility. There are um, four small private rooms with comfortable chairs and a table and an outlet, which is really what you need. You want a private, clean space. There are sinks right outside the door, which we can all share that have hot water, which, you know, we really want our supplies to be clean. So it makes it so much easier and fast because we don't want to spend a lot of time pumping. We did not have a designated space before we built this building, and so it was a very conscious decision to have um, a space for our moms. And for a couple reasons, it was for both our employees and for our summit participants and those who come in and do presentations and things like here, here at group. And we really focused on wanting to make it easy for moms to be able to come back to work. It felt like group publishing really cared about me as an employee. I know there are other employees or other places that um, don't have these facilities and so women are left to either give up the uh, thought of providing their children with breast milk or you know they, they pump breast milk in their car or in the bathroom which feels like not supportive at all. We had an associate bring us the opportunity and talk to us and said that there was an opportunity where we didn't have a spot and what was happening is we had customers and associates a lot that would go to the restroom and utilize the restroom for this uh, procedure and instead what we decided was it would be good to take our fitting room that we used uh, weren't really using and modify that a little bit and give them the opportunity to have a private place to go and uh, nurse their, their child. I feel very comfortable coming to Walmart. I have a five month old and to know that there is a breastfeeding room available if needed, I feel comfortable going and providing for my child. It's gotten out in the community that Walmart does have the facility, does ha or does have a room for uh, breast pump and breastfeeding. And uh, I believe this, it's been a great benefit. We provide lactation support for our mothers here at the hotel, should they need. We provide a separate space for them anywhere in the building. That's the luxury of actually being a hotel. We have vacant guest rooms. We have small meeting space. We even have small closets should they need to have that available for them to go and pump when they need and have the privacy that they need for that. Law enforcement is a very challenging field. It is sometimes difficult possibly to accommodate employees, but it's nothing compared to the benefits. I'm very fortunate that our, um, my captain lets me uh, use his office when I need to. I pump once at work. Um, so that's where I usually do it. And if his office isn't available because he has meetings or whatever, then I, I use our conference room. In reference to the fire stations, one of the things that we are looking at is each fire station is equipped with the captain's headquarters or women's lounges, and those are the places that we are considering designating. And as far as the uh, non-traditional, the fire stations, when they're called out on emergency calls, we will be engaging in the interactive dialogue process with the employee. Who would have thought that we'd be talking about lactation in the fire service, but it's, uh, it's quite a tremendous step amazing the group that came through to make this happen is, is really awesome. Each fire station is going to be designated as a lactation accommodation space for women in the field in non-traditional jobs or that between offices. They can, if they need to pump, pull up to the nearest fire station they're passing and be provided with a space. 
Brandon actually came to me when I was pregnant and asked if I would be breastfeeding when I returned to work after maternity leave. And I told him that I'd planned on it. And he asked me how um, I wanted to go about still doing that while I was at work. Well, um, whenever they needed to pump or anything, they went to the um, supply closet. We've made a sign, put it on the outside of the closet. The closet locks from the inside so no one could get in um, and just, you know, respected that time for them to do whatever they needed to do. The lactation support services out here were able to uh, have the women in the field uh, be able to pump freely when they need to pump um, so that they can go home with bottled breast milk and feed to the children. At first I thought they were just not gonna, I mean there was no way how are you gonna bring a breast pump to work? How are you gonna connect it? Or where are you gonna be, get the privacy to do this? Where are you gonna store the milk? And a lot of questions. But then I talked to WIC, I found out that uh, Medi-Cal would offer me a pump and I decided that's that was the option for me. We assumed that it was gonna be harder for us to accommodate them out in the field just because it's out in the open and the privacy was our main concern. And I think we did a really, really good job. They can use the vehicle for their private, their private vehicle, or they can use the um, vehicle for the company, which is the crew leader who drives the vehicle. So we provide them um, the shelter within the car. We also provide them tents. So that's another neat thing that I thought it was really interesting because it's more private. It's more private for them, and um, it's a way for them to feel more comfortable. You too can support nursing women at your business. Learn how to make it work at www.womenshealth.gov slash breastfeeding slash at hyphen work. Supporting nursing women at work is good for business. Three to one return on investment, helps recruit and retain good employees, lowers absenteeism rates, improves productivity, builds employee morale and loyalty. Funded by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office on Women's Health. HHS has designed these videos solely for the purpose of providing examples of the ways businesses accommodate nursing women. Please contact your state labor department to assure that solutions comply with your state laws. HHS does not imply endorsement of any one strategy for compliance with the break time for nursing mothers provision of the federal law. All persons pictured in these videos have provided permission for use of their likeness for federal purposes only. Commercial business scenes do not imply endorsement by HHS.